moving? Where to? I know it's hard, but we're all having to say goodbye to our friends for the time being. Think of it as an adventure, like in one of your books. I'm very happy. I think they've done a very careful job of it. I think it's an incredibly faithful adaptation. I think the performances, the little boys, the adults. I'm just I'm delighted that everything they said to me at the start is what they've done. I play with who? The children. Over on the farm. A farm? I didn't see a farm. And that one too. You can only see it from that room. Hmm. And there are some children there? Yes, quite a few. Oh, that's good. So, uh, I'll be able to play with him? I don't see why not. I think when I was writing it in the first instance, I was just lost in the story and kept going with it. But then once I was doing the rewrites and the, the second and third and fourth drafts, uh, and started to actually feel a real connection to the characters, and particularly the characters of Bruno and Schmuel, um, I did start to find that quite hard. And, you know, I, I started to care about the boys. Here! What's the matter? Don't throw it back. What? Why not? It's dangerous. It's a sensitive subject and um, I think John has done an excellent job with the book of finding a new way to look at a very sensitive and um, troubling subject. I'm playing Lieutenant Kotler in the film. Uh, who is uh, a lieutenant, um, obviously, the clue is in the name, but that one, but um, a friend of the family and uh, an ambitious young um, soldier. How dare you talk to people in the house? How dare you? Are you eating? Have you been stealing food? No, sir. He gave it to me. He's my friend. I think the key thing to it is uh, that it, uh, it gives a, a different approach to a way of looking at the Holocaust, which I hope that kids and adults and everybody can, can understand and be excited by, and a way of uh, getting involved with history that's not boring or sort of like a lecture or something, you know.